Hey guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys. Um, I hope you're all okay that side. And it's a Monday, you know how much we love Nasdaq. So in this short video, I'm just gonna keep it uh, four minutes max. I just want us to talk about, you know, I just want to show you the reasons why. Because you'll always hear me saying Fridays are not good for trading. Or it is not good idea for you to to open trades on, you know, let's say Friday afternoon and blah, 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 stuff like that. This is the reason why I, I, I don't advise you to do that. It's because, number one, the market is about to close, ne? So if you check the, 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 the how the market flows throughout the week, you will see that it's it's it, it connects it connects nicely. But now when it gets to Friday, the momentum or yeah the volatility it slowly drops, especially in the afternoon going up towards the market closure around around the closing of the market around eleven half past eleven or so. So if you were to open a trade on that friday and uh, the market doesn't move a lot it doesn't give you a chance to move to break even away and lock in a decent amount of of of, of pips then this is what you, you 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 are risking against look at what the market did when it opened this week it did it did this it opened with a gap and this shows that you know because the last trading day was friday and remember, this is Nasdaq. These are stocks and stuff like that. So what if you are trading Nasdaq? Because remember, Nasdaq includes, let's say I'm giving an example. It includes Twitter in it. Twitter as one of the components of Nasdaq. And let's say the market closed on Friday. And then over the weekend, let's say the CEO of Twitter steps down or resigns or whatever. Then you know that the stock... The, the the Twitter stock is gonna dip like that, which means even the Nasdaq is gonna take a knock. That's why when the market opens on 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 Monday, it will have something like this. Why? Because it can't, it cannot move. Remember, over the weekend when the guy stepped down, it was not moving, so you couldn't see the effect on the market. All that effect from the weekend is gonna show when the market opens, which is why I'm saying you shouldn't open a trade where. You, you know, because remember Fridays, I'll always tell you that this is the day where you should be uh, managing your trades nicely, closing some of them and moving to break even way be above break even so that even if something like this happens, it doesn't push your, 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 your balance way back because otherwise it's going to be a huge setback. Right? So if you've been watching my videos, you will now understand why I do not want you to execute on fridays especially friday afternoon going up especially if you're planning on holding it over the weekend because remember sometimes you can say let me just execute at uh, maybe let's say 6 p.m on friday because i know i will i will ex i will close it in the next two hours but what what if in that next two hours the price just moves like this around your entry are you still gonna close it with the with the with the loss or with that small profit or are you going to give it the benefit of the doubt and say Ah, uh, but I think maybe on from Monday when the market opens, it's gonna go in my direction, and then let's say you decide to do it, and then on the on Monday the market does something like this. You see, so you need to be careful, guys. Just wait for, be patient, be patient. If you had trades that are open, then you just manage those trades, especially if you're trading small time frames. Manage those trades, close some of them, and then let's wait for Monday, and then we start again afresh. You see. Otherwise, you're going to be falling victim of stuff like this. All right, guys. I hope now you understand and you will you will be start to take this into consideration and try and apply it in your trading because if you are trading at any time of the day, it's, it's not worth it. Sometimes not taking a trade is a good trading a decision to make. You being on the sidelines and not executing is a good decision to take because of what you just jump in only for you to take a loss of which you could have saved your money that's what i'm saying not taking a trade sometimes is a trading decision also all right guys i'll see you on the next one do not forget to like and subscribe there all right sharp.